Welcome back to another edition of Mechanics Behind the MCU, where we deep dive into the tech used by some of our faves in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and of course, go through the real life counterparts. For this episode, we're going to discuss a pretty big feature of one of the most popular characters in the MCU, Winter Soldier, and how his bionic arm is closer to reality than you think. Firstly, James Bucky Buchanan Barnes is one badass character. Whether he's helping save the world or being mind controlled as the Winter Soldier, no one can deny that his most interesting feature is his bionic arm. Even calling it bionic might not do justice to such an extraordinary piece of tech. But before we get into the real meat of the video, don't forget to like and share these videos if you enjoy them because we have a lot more coming your way. Anyway, let's get into it. After Bucky lost his arm during World War II, he was experimented upon and given a titanium bionic arm. The arm increased his strength to the level of Captain America and other experiments done on him increased his reflexes, stamina and strength levels. But we don't really care about any of that. We just want to know more about the arm. When the original titanium arm was destroyed by Iron Man during Civil War, Bucky was given a new and improved vibranium arm by Black Panther during Infinity War. Vibranium being the strongest metal in the MCU and being stronger than steel but just a third of the weight automatically makes it a better substitute than the titanium one. Bucky's arm is bulletproof, fire resistant and completely flexible and durable. Basically, it works just like any other part of his body because well, comic books. But do we have any real life scientific bionic arm that could compare? There have been several enhancements to help war veterans who've lost their limbs during combat and others who've lost their limbs to disease or accidents. A lot of the new advances and progress is due to 3D printing. One of the most promising ones was created by a Bristol based startup called Open Bionics. Their literal tagline is to make people who have disabilities feel like superheroes. Their bionic arm is the first medically certified 3D printed bionic bionic arm aptly called the hero arm. It has four motors which control all four fingers and the thumb and allows the user to grip things as if using a normal arm. It works by picking up responses to the user's muscles. There are small sensors inside the sockets that detect a small voltage when the muscles are flexed. Here's how it works. The first thing that happens is that a prosthetist will get a model of their arm, which could be physical or digital from a 3D scan. We feed that into our software algorithms to create the bespoke hero arm for that individual person. And we then export the files for the 3D printers, 3D print them, and then we assemble everything together into that person's hero arm. They've been doing a lot of research with people who require these prosthetics. They even have color palettes so people can choose exactly how their arm would look. With the amount of research they're doing, they're getting closer and closer to making a prosthetic arm as close to a functional human one as possible. Another wildly futuristic bionic prosthetic is one that can be controlled by your mind. The Applied Physics Lab at Johns Hopkins University has developed the Modular Prosthetic Limb, a bionic arm that responds to what the user is thinking. Here's how it works. The Modular Prosthetic Limb, or MPL, interprets and converts signals from the body's nervous system to motion. When the MPL interacts with an object, signals from over 100 sensors send information back to the brain, creating a sense of touch. But how does it interact with our brains? The patients have to do a surgery that allows an amputee to be able to operate the prosthetic with their brain. Here's why that's such a big deal. The doctors found the nerves that gives that part of the body feeling and attached it to the spots right where the prosthetic would fit so as to trick the brain into thinking that it's feeling something as if from a real hand. So yeah, we're far from having a bulletproof arm that can do this. But the advancements in bionics have flooded people who need them with new found hope. Did you like this video? Don't forget to check out the others in the series because there's a lot of tech to be explored in the MCU. What else would you like us to break down? Tell us in the comments. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. The kinds of videos we want to make are to ask fun and compelling questions, explore weird and intriguing stories, and delve into secret histories. So if that's something you're interested in, this is the channel for you. Don't forget to tell us what you like in the comments.